Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So tonight I'm taking a look at one from Sierra Nevada. This is one of their newer beers, BFD, which is beer for drinking. Why they want to call it that, I have no idea. What else are you going to do with beer? Now, obviously you can't cook with it. I've done it on numerous occasions, but just about every beer out there is for drinking. Um, so this is a Golden Ale, comes in at 4.9% ABV. Actually comes out in a 19.2 uh, ounce can. And you got it right here where it says casually crushable. So this might be some that maybe people will be chugging out there. I'm not sure. Golden Ale is always a nice little style when you're trying to cross people over from like say some of the adjuncts. This does make a nice little play to get them into craft beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. Before I do that, one of the things I mentioned before was maybe showing some more of my glassware that I have um, on some of the different breweries. This is actually one from Sierra, Nevada. And it's, I tried to rinse it out a little bit here so you can see where it's a little wet inside. But uh, this is one of their tulip glasses, which is a nice, neat little one that you can use for certain styles. And then I also have their chalice version right here, which is suited well for their Abbey Ale. And uh, just thought I'd share that with you guys so you can check out some of the stuff. Some pretty good glassware you can get with some of these companies. I don't use these as much because I like to keep those on a bookshelf behind me with the other glassware, kind of just more for the design type situation. So I'll be using like a pint glass here. Let's get it open and uh, get to drinking. So we get the golden ale out there, which you can see the front BFD. And came out pretty heady, a bit of three finger head. Um, it's gonna actually break down here probably in a good amount of time as I see the bubbles popping on the head itself, which does sit pretty much white or barely off white. You can see here the nice golden straw color on it, like nice clarity. You can see all that bubble action taking place as it streams to the head up top. Decent smelling aroma, I am picking up of a hop fragrance. I'm picking up a little bit of a, a grass or pininess with this one. Definitely picking up a little bit of a sweetness as well, but 33 IBU, so you should be able to pick up a little bit of note action taking place. It's got a nice cleanliness to it as well in the aroma as far as the taste. It does go down rather easily. I can definitely see why they call it casually crustable because you could chug through this without any issue has a nice little pop of flavor in the mouth. You're picking up some of that hop uh, taste in there. Again, sticking more to some of kind of a, a pininess type taste. It's leaving a little bit of flavor attached. Goes down on the back end pretty nicely without any uh, type of scratching really. It's leaving a nice sweetness in the mouth as well. Has a little bit of a play that can kind of go back to how people might enjoy some of the adjuncts, but doesn't really have all that sweetness there like you would get from what is used in a lot of the macros. Great little beer here if you were like cutting grass or doing some things outside and you wanted to come in and cool down after you got done doing stuff. Yeah, this is one you can definitely throw down rather easily. Not much of a problem with it at all. Has a nice thirst quenching quality to it. Flavor does linger for a little bit of time, but not even trying already down to like that last third of the glass. So I'm not gonna drink anymore because I gotta get the picture taken of this one. But I would say definitely give this one a shot if you see it out there. I think I got this one for, I'm sure like $1.69, which isn't bad for a 19 two ounce can of a craft uh, brew. But if you've had this before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the BFD beer for drinking like to hear any feedback you may have on it but overall pretty decent tasting beer that being said i'm going to go ahead and finish crushing it i look forward to catching you guys next time if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscription if you want to stay alert to the videos as i upload them which are usually around nine o'clock eastern is what i shoot for you can also hit that alarm down there that little bell and if you like the video as always please remember to hit that like button that being said keep drinking those good craft beers remember there's always time get your beer on cheers